message more since rubbing up my ethernet cord. Since her rubbing up my ethernet cord. <laughs> Oh, I like that trumpet thing. This one might be the best one yet. Welcome back to another daily video. My name is Joel from Rumi Official, and now we're gonna play hide and seek. Can you find me? Haha, <laughs> you loose. I was in the other room. Easy. How could you miss that? <laughs> On my last few videos, I've just been spammed with people wanting me to listen to Wilbur Suit. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Introducing Wilbur Sut. It's Wilbur Sut, okay. Anyway, Wilbur recently released a song called Your New Boyfriend that you guys have been spamming me to comment on. So I will. However, in our research, we found that that's actually the third video in a series of songs. We're gonna be looking at them in the right order. I'm excited. It seems like a really cool thing to be telling a story over multiple songs. So let's have a listen. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> nice. <laughs> now it was designed to be a fun way of sending your friends images. So I don't know if you guys noticed this, but they're not actually playing an acoustic guitar there. Mm -hmm. He's not playing right. Just so we're on the same page here. <laughs> he was robbed while trying to meet up with a woman he met online. What makes the app so concerning for parents? Very indie so far. So the drums or like the Kajan or whatever it's called is a little bit out of timing compared to the rest, which can be charming though, but it is a little bit like, ooh. Oh. It sounds very like homemade. She's beauty, she's grace. She has a profile picture of an anime girl's face. Just a single message more since rubbing up my ethernet cord. Since her rubbing up my ethernet cord. <laughs> I wonder if he thinks of it as parody when he's writing it. I guess that there might be a lesson in here. The initial thing he wrote before the song started definitely made it feel like there's gonna be a lesson in here somewhere. I wanna be the guy that you fall asleep on call with. I'll make you forget every guy that came before me. Cause I like you. It's a very specific type of singing. Like it's not necessarily on the notes all the time, but it does feed into a specific aesthetic where that is okay. I gotta say like, I'm not too familiar with this type of genre. The closest I would come to this in my listening habits would probably be something like Lonely Deer, Swedish indie guy, but that's still a lot more nice sounding than this, I would say, both mix wise and performance wise. This is very dirty, but it's definitely on purpose dirty. This comes you may our internet connection. It's so funny how like this series of songs have gotten so big and Corpse's music is almost about the same thing. Writing songs about this specific thing seems to be very poppin' right now. I took away my PS4, so I punched a hole through my bedroom wall. I'm not aggressive, I just ooze masculine passion. Did you know I've also got depression? Self-diagnosed thought I should mention. It's a really clever way to make a music video. I think it's really engaging, even though like it's all kind of just shot against a blank wall or whatever. And I'm really interested in his lyrics. It's not at all generic. Like it is very kind of like self-aware, comedy, ironic. You're also kind of hinting at something real behind there. He's very devoted. He's simping for this girl, but she's playing the stock market, so to say. Let's skip to the good bit. Let's completely block all contact. What? <laughs> so he's almost stalking her, I guess. Are <laughs> you actually blocking me? Where are we on the ironic scale right now? How much parody is in here? Is this satire? Is it real? And I do think it's kind of walking the line. I guess similarly as well to hyper pop and this stuff that can feel sarcastic. Constant pain in every dimension. My body weeps. Disbelief has suspension. Thank you for watching my tutorial. <laughs>
is really cool. This is definitely not something that will get picked up by a major record label anytime soon. Or maybe it will because it's popular. It's hard to say. It's not my style. Like, I gotta be honest with that. Like, it's not something that I would turn on myself, but I can totally see the appeal of it. And I am fascinated with the universe he's building here. I'm excited for the other two songs. Okay, so that was the first song. If you don't know who Wilbur Suit is, by the way, he first became successful on YouTube as the frontman and editor of the channel Suit House that kind of looked at a bunch of funny stuff online and reacted to it with a bunch of friends. Look, look how many people they are. Cursed comments, not how girls work. Wilbur is also a member of the Dream Minecraft server, which I think has helped kind of put his popularity up through the roof recently. Okay, I feel like I really need to read the genius lyrics for this. Throughout the song, the narrator is revealed to be obsessed with the target of his affections, thinking she can fix his mental issues. The bridge features Chevy as the e-girl. I really like the line, I want to be the guy you fall asleep on call with. I think that's pretty common. It's kind of how you feel close to someone when they're very far away. One characteristic about this is that E relationships are much easier to end than IRL relationships due to the block function found in pretty much all messaging apps, which is why an e-girl can likely have so many relationships of this type in a short amount of time. So yeah, it seems like e-girl in this context is not necessarily a content creator or anything. Yeah, so there seems to be two definitions of e-girl and one is a content creator or whatever. People kind of play up their femininity in order to get people supporting them. And then you have a second definition here, kind of like just normal people being e-girls and having relationship and stuff online and it's a specific style. I guess it's people who live out their lives online. That's what it sounds like to me. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on these lyrics are in the comments. I don't pretend to know all of the references and stuff in here and it doesn't seem like Genius knows everything either. Okay, I'm excited to see the follow-up. Part two, internet ruined me. I like his aesthetic. Post breakup e-boy. The music's definitely a bit tighter in this version, like it's not as all over the place rhythmically. Kind of sounds like sample drums. By the way, guys, if the quality looks bad in this video, it's because that he purposely makes the quality bad as part of his aesthetic. So keep that in mind. My keyboard's like my heart. It shines in RGB <laughs> and it's full of blood. What? Trouble speaking to women unless they're 2D or high definition. Spent all my time on social media. This is the state that I'm in. <laughs> so I don't know if you know, but this is actually a glockenspiel, right? So you usually play that with a mallet. You can't really play it like this. Just so you know, I'm explaining to you, okay? My Twitter feeds like my brain. I have it on dark mode. Hey, good line. Memorize everything she says so I can use it to guess her passcode. She's beauty, she's great. That's interesting. Like being in an E relationship and then it ends and you want their passcodes, like, see, have they been talking to other guys or whatever? She has a profile picture of her gorgeous face to try and get more sponsors. Okay, so now this E girl, I guess the E girl was always a content creator then, but it seems like he's singing from the point of a viewer rather than like him as a creator talking to another content creator. It seems like he's just a stalking guy who's like probably paying money on one of the sites to get to talk to her in DMs and stuff. Or have they been dating? I don't even know. It's very vague. Give me a reason not to be on my It really has an interesting aesthetic with these videos. He takes the homemadeness and it really makes it work. A lot of it reminds me of Claro. It's kind of like bedroom pop, I guess. This one sounds a little bit more produced, though, I gotta say. His vocals are still really rough and real and stuff. There's definitely a little bit more production value to this than the last one. No, you want six foot four, <laughs> one foot more, and I'd almost be tall enough to reach the high. Should <laughs> be your incel? I think I might be a threat to my soul. Why does she run when a monthly gives 50% of my income? Oh, yeah, so totally some type of subscription surveys or I guess Twitch. There's a lot of great video editing in here. I get the feeling that he's edited this himself. Edited me. Music me. <laughs> yeah. We used to sleep on cold together. We used to sleep on cold together. We used to sleep. 
So I find this more and more that people are writing a lot in characters. Like the character here is obviously not Wilbur. And even people like Billie Eilish say that they write their songs as characters. It seems like it's almost getting less common to write a song about your real life. And people rather write about fictional people. It seems like the new generation of musicians really likes to speak through characters. It's part of that internet detachment. By the way, guys, check out the merch if you haven't already. It's over on Crowdmade. Link in the description. We got this hoodie out. It's got Pitchy on the arm. It's zip down. It's amazing. Means you can take it off really quickly like that. Got this t-shirt. Don't worry, it's apple juice, which is great if you're drinking apple juice and you don't want people to think it's something else. Okay, so time for your new boyfriend, the song that you guys have been spamming me about. Coming up on this program, we show you how to get connected. Find out how to choose an internet service provider. He's really put down a lot of work on finding really funny, like, old internet clips. I'm enjoying it. Newest form of communication, electronic mail. <laughs> Please just send me something. Please, I'll take a mm, pick. Life isn't quite what I thought I'd be when I was a kid on VOIP. I thought when I get older, I'd marry her. I told her. Now I'm 26 and I work in an office. Nine till five's not the best, I'll be honest. Okay, so now he's definitely very far into a character here. Obviously, he doesn't work in an office. He's in your bed, I'm in your Twitch chat. <laughs> I've got the key and he's just a doormat. Even though he's got social skills That doesn't mean I can't pay the bills Anyway, make the most of him Cause she moves on pretty bloody quick Oh, oh Your new boyfriend's an asshole. Oh, I like that trumpet thing It's super indie music I wonder what his inspirations are for his music This one might be the best one yet got that little subdominant minor in there. I think it's going like this. G major, B minor, E minor, C, and then the chord I was talking about, C minor. Beautiful. Very indie pop. Yeah, I've met Jared. Of course I've met Jared. <laughs> One who took you away from me. You hit it off instantly. I know because you won't stop telling me. Ah. I've seen his jawline, shoulders, and muscles push against his fashion sense. I've thought about what he looks like nude. Not gay though. Important to point out, yes, I get it. She's living the dream. Oh, she's living the dream. From back when we were 17. Not gonna make another scene. The one I made when I was 23 means I'm not allowed in Disney World. He's in your bed and I'm in your Twitch chat. <laughs> That's a good line. That's a callback line, right? I think he used that in all three of the songs, the your beauty and your grace thing. Jason Derulo. As far into parody as this is now, this is probably the most parodic of the three songs. There's definitely a bunch of people out there that kind of feel like this. I think especially younger people who obsess over e-girls and stuff. I was a very lonely kid. I would probably be able to really get into, you know, watching a specific e-girl streamer or just watching streamers in general. Okay, so my overall thoughts on this. I think it's super interesting. He's going for an aesthetic that's not exactly my favorite with the music, but I think there's a huge appeal to it. And I'm really excited to see what he does in the future, especially lyrically. He takes himself relatively serious as a songwriter and kind of artsy guy, I think. Even though there's a bunch of like, you know, characters. I really like that he's got his own thing going on. He's not trying to be some other artist or anything like that. I really love how something like this can blow up nowadays. It's exciting. Of course, some of this popularity comes from that he is a popular internet creator as well, but it is really, really good. I really respect him as a songwriter. Okay, guys, good care for more music commentary videos, good care for music VS videos, and I will see you tomorrow in another daily video. I'm Go check out Wilbur Suits music videos. Check him out on Spotify. I'm gonna go give some bits to my favorite girl right now and hope she answers my DM. She never answers my DMs.